Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profit Collections team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress plugin dial-up tutorial using Boilerplate. This is our part number 7. Inside this video session guys, we will see that how can we create plugin submenus. And I strongly suggest you to watch the previous part that is part number 6 where we had seen that how can we install plugin to our WordPress setup as well as how can we create menu at admin panel. Back to editor. Now inside this file, right now we have created our two own methods something for the menu and all about the callback function for the menu. So if we want to create submenu, what basically submenus are? If we back to Chrome browser, go inside this admin panel so these are the menus called posts media and the pages and so on so if you hover on this post section then these are the sub menus so in the last video this is the plugin menu we have developed so we want that when we hover inside this menu we want some sub menus list so how can we create that so simply we need to write add sub menu page WordPress. This is a WordPress function. By the help of this function actually we can create our sub menus to any of the menu right here inside this admin panel. So go here. If I click on this first reference link this is all about WordPress documentation. So right here we can find all about the function details. So this is a WordPress function. Inside this we have some parameters and about the parameters here is the well explained document inside this. So this is description block. Inside this description block we have parameters detail like parent slug, page title, menu title and so on. So we can find all about the parameters detail inside this document. We are going to use this add some menu page function inside our plugin and we are going to create some sub menus. Copy the function name back to document and let's say that here create plugin sub menus. Now I am going to use called add sub menu page. Now inside this the first parameter should be something about parent slug. Parent slug means that at what parent, basically these are parents called post, media, pages, plugin, comments, these are called parent. So inside which parent, we are going to create our sub menus. So here it is, this is our parent. So parent, inside this parent, all about this is our parent slug. So copy that, right now actually we are using and developing our file. So this is means incomplete code that's why we are getting error right here. So copy the parent slug back to editor and we need to pass right here. It means that the sub menus we are developing we want inside this parent. In the next we need to pass about page title what we have seen inside add menu page. So let's say dashboard. In the next, we need to pass our sub-menu title. So again, I'm going to pass dashboard. In the next, we need to pass about level access privileges. So let's say manage options about all these parameters actually we had discussed inside video number 6. So please go through that. While discussing about menu, we have seen what basically these parameters stands and how can we find these parameters right here inside this plugin here. So let's say manage options. After manage options, we need to pass sub menu slug. So let's say book management dashboard. And finally, we need to pass a callback function. When we click on this sub menu, what is going to happen? So let's say array. This is our instance. And we are going to create a method which is defined inside the same class. So let's say book underscore management underscore 
if you go inside this menu instead of dashboard simply let's say plugin here and all about the first sub menu and this is our callback function called book management dashboard so copy that if we go here so this is all about dashboard so let's say plugin sub menu one and again I am going to create one more function for the plugin menu so let's say plug so it, no, it's, it's public function this is our method name again I'm going to copy this message pasting it here and let's say that welcome to plugin instead of sub menu this is all about menu here all we have done now we have performed all the parameters inside this add sub menu page function back to editor again go here reload this page click on this now we are getting book management tool inside this plugin now we can find all about our dashboard as a second menu if we click on this dashboard or posts if you hover on this plugin now as we can see this is our plugin menu right now we have some sub menus and one of the sub menu is known as dashboard if we click on this sub menu now this is our plugin sub menu one so in the same way we can create more and more sub menus inside this plugin menu back to editor copy this pasting it here now let's say that create book and instead of dashboard let's say create book slug create book slug and this is our parent where we want and let's say create book if you copy this page title replace with this menu title now we have manage options slug and the function name so finally we need to define our let's say our callback function so public function function name and copy this and put pasting it here so this is all about let's say plugin dashboard all about let's say welcome to create book page save all these changes back to browser reload this page now we have one sub means sub menu like create book inside this list if we click on this link now this is all about welcome to create book page back here again I'm going to copy pasting it here and this is all about let's say list book this is all about list book and what the slug for the previous sub menu we have set we can find inside this URL like book management hyphen create hyphen book so this is all about for the list book and let's say that this is for the list book copy that pasting it here all about this is manage options this is for the slug and finally this is our callback function so I am to create this callback function here so let's say public function method name now if I copy this message pasting it here so let's say welcome to list book page back to our admin panel reload this page now we have one more sub menu inside this list called list book so click on this link this is all about our sub menu slug here it is something our page menu title and all about executing our callback function so successfully guys inside this video we are created our sub menus inside our plugin menu now one more thing actually we need to see here if we hover on pages now as we can see we have two sub menus called all pages and add new if we hover inside this post we have all posts add new categories and tags 
now click on the post first now this is all about the menu callback function this is I repeating menu callback function now when I click on this automatically the first sub menu is now triggered if we click on the first sub menu the same page is opening but in our case if we click on this automatically when we open this menu then this is all about menu callback function the same the first sub menu triggered but we don't want this name two times let's understand this concept with the help of appearance tab so inside this appearance menu these are sub menus again i'm clicking on that appearance so while clicking on this this is all about menu callback function execution automatically while clicking on this menu this sub menu will be clicked so when we click on this sub menu this is also about execution of sub menu callback function so what basically we want we want that when we click on this menu automatically dashboard sub menu will be clicked and also we don't want book management tool the name itself two times about the first means menu and also with the sub menu so also we have to remove this book management tool from this list and when we click on this the first sub menu dashboard will be called so these are the issues we need to fix in the next video so inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment I will keep my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.